I'll put this little video together of my 92 ZR1. I bought this car from the second owner. I bought it in 94 and uh, has kept it in immaculate condition. Engine isn't uh, all discolored and dark gray like a lot of the cars are. They've been cleaned with degreaser and so forth. Been meticulously maintained. Incredible condition. Factory weather stripping is great. No fading, cracking, hazing on the top. And the interior doesn't have a single bit of wear on a bolster. It is as well kept as it gets. And it even still has the sticker on the dash. The analog gauges are not linear devices. Please see owner's manual for further explanation. Customer removal only. Are you the customer that removes that? Gotta hope not. But immaculate interior. There's no armor all in here. This is just cleaned with Meguiar's uh, detailing wipes. They're not greasy. The only bit of wear is right here on the handle. Polo green metallic two. Original paint is in immaculate condition. Very, very good shape. I've never had it corrected. The previous owner hasn't either. So this is all factory clear that's never been touched factory paint I did have the hood painted and it is a great job perfect match the guy even matched uh, the factory minor orange peel the same color match is perfect the obligatory pile of Corvette stuff from the OCD Corvette owner C5 manual original window sticker she was 65 968 $66,000 ZR1 package was $31,000 and 92 yeah two Corvettes Excellent shape, just very, very well kept. None of that rubber stuff is peeling off anywhere except for that one spot on the driver's door handle, which I think is easily uh, fixed these days. Loose water bottle. Um, so yeah, here is the sticker. It's got every VHS tape, factory manual, even little clear guards you're supposed to put on the dealer gives you there's the Mercruiser paperwork uh, for all the accolades of the ZR1 that they are proud of which they should be <clears throat> as a build sheet I believe this is um, a build sheet from Mercruiser for this engine and it's got every single maintenance record since day one Yep, every single one. And the only problem it's had is all the injectors replaced at a tune of $3,680.08. Yeah, so that's been done. And it's got a Mark Pyback tune in it. Just turns the fans on a little bit earlier. <clears throat> never gets hot 
I'll fire it up and let it run for a little while here. But, uh, if you've never driven a LT5 Corvette, you owe it to yourself. These pull like a freight train above five, five grand, 5200. They just come on strong, have a lot of deep intake noise, and uh, yeah, they sound like a Lotus V8. But I mean, the original sticker's still on stuff. have the ZR1s have a ceramic windshield because they've got a slightly smaller compressor and they're known for delaminating this car has just got it ever so slightly which kind of tells you that it hasn't spent much time in the Sun but uh, yeah minor delamination if you can see it there a lot less than any of them I've actually seen the whole engine is still bright silver you just never see that anymore they're all like a dark gray but yeah, very, very well kept car. Thanks Mr. Foley for preserving it so well. I have loved this thing. I've owned it, I bought it with 29,000 miles. It now has 41,000. And uh, I did that in one year. And it not once let me down ever. It has been absolutely dead nuts reliable. Put a brand new set of Michelin Pilots on it when I got it. A lot of meat and life left in those. Magna ride works like it should. Feels like a town car on the comfort setting and about as stiff and aggressive as I'd say a like a, a C6 with a Z51 package when it's in uh, performance mode. And that big old C5 butt. That's the previous owner's tag. You don't get to see mine. Let's see if we can get underneath it. Some fire to I always like to hear both fuel pumps come on before I start. Now that the fuel's primed. Just had the AC converted and it blows super cold. 
lassen. Forty thousand seven seventy seven. God, this thing's a riot. Okay, let me know if uh, you want some more pictures of any parts of the car. I can do a FaceTime video driving it, but I don't want to act a fool in a public video. I'd love to in a FaceTime video to show you how it runs, though. Feel free to ask me that in proof of funds. But anyways, that's my 92 ZR1. Tell me if you're interested. And if you got any questions, I'll answer what you got. Thanks for looking.